Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is your brother Yerushalayim. Coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash. This video is going to be entitled "Spiritual Attacks and the Plague of the Mind Will Increase." All right, as we get closer to the end, I right, we know um, and we know the, the the various forms of witchcraft, the manifold witchcrafts that Esau Edom, the devil, you know, is um is bringing on on, on this earth. All right, you know. One of the main ones talking about mainly is the um the the CERN portal, the portal, the large hadron collider, collider the LHC. Alright. You know, which stems from you know, an old old um actually one of the most one of the most um secret and old Nazi experiments, right? Which was the D-Glock, which is they call it the Bell, which pretty much is was high velocity counter rotational spin, aka torsion physics. Right, which basically affects time and space, you know. So they they pretty much using these um these these um hadron colliders now to you know to collide particles and rip holes in time and space to get a portal to the fourth dimension to bring what spirits into this world more more spirits evil spirits. All right, got to do the conjuring up. All right, they they pretty much they worship Kali, goddess of death, the Hindu goddess of death. All right. And um, they're pretty much bringing these these evil spirits more and more into this realm, into the into earth. All right, you know, and all and all these spirits, you know, being brought really and truly, you know, by the will of the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But He's the one who really wants them to be here right now because why? This would be approaching a time where a time of vengeance. All right, a time of vengeance, a time of judgment. All right, you know, and um, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is a spirit. You know, and he sends these spirits, you know, and, you know, basically to, to do his will. Okay? You know, he sends these he spirits to do his will. You know, and these spirits, they don't transgress. Right? And let, let me first uh, play this video. Let me get a couple of precepts. Alright, uh, let's go. Hebrews. Hebrews 12. And verse 9. This is established because everything you see in the flesh. And if it's, you know, it basically is, a, it's, a, it's spiritual, all right. You no, know, um, you know, it's, a, it's um, the physical is a, it, it's just a manifestation. It's spiritual. It's Hebrews twelve and nine says, "Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us and gave them reverence. Shall we not more? Shall, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live, right? Because the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is the point. Is the Father of spirits, okay?" Because the battle, because the Lord only sees spirits, He don't see the flesh. He don't care about your flesh. All right, that's how the Lord puts serious judgments on children, babies, women. All right, you know where we're in this physical world, in a way, you know it that that's that's um so called frowned upon. But in the eyes of Yahbashim, Yahshai, He just seen you as a spirit. Okay, and the point is, you know, you know uh, all these all these so called physiological or psychological effects. People be having, you know, but it be schizophrenia, um, you know, certain forms of um, plague of the mind, uh, you know, madness, so-called madness. It's really, it's really, it's really pretty much you're being plagued by evil spirits, right? In the mind, right? Demons, right? Um, with demons go back to intelligence, intelligence in your mind, all right? And that's pretty much where you go back to, and that's why the scripture saying really you do battle against flesh and blood. But you know, without further ado, let me get into a little bit into this video here. I pray that it's Eddie Fine. Alright, this is uh I'll put a link in the description box. Do you hear voices in your head? If you do, then you likely know it's best to keep that to yourself. Because a doctor will tell you that you're a schizophrenic. Modern psychiatry calls these voices auditory hallucinations. And even though a whopping 1% of the world's population suffers from schizophrenia, there isn't much research. But after 30 years of working closely with the criminally insane, Jerry Marzinski has noticed that the voices talking to these schizophrenics are all saying the same things. There is a distinct, predictable pattern. The voice... 
Senses are exclusively generating negative emotion, leaving the patient physically and emotionally drained. The voices are always pulling a person away from God or anything positive. The voices are always a call to action, instructing the person to either hurt themselves or hurt someone else, which is probably why the voices always rebel against the drugs that are prescribed for schizophrenia. These drugs make a person comatose, and the voices want you to do things. Marzinski believes that schizophrenics are being attacked by non-physical entities that he calls energy parasites, because... Which are demons, alright? Spirits created for vengeance. And let me get that precept, because um, this precept goes into the different um, spirits that were created for vengeance. Um, let me see, Sarak 39, around for the 30 at first. Alright, it says, um, Sarak 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, but that is action. Okay? Now, when you take, do, when you take those so-called drugs, you know, you render a person inactive, that's why the demons now eventually, they either, they either come more on that person, destroy them, or they jump to somebody else, who they could use, actively use okay but the point is in their fury lay on sore strokes right in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them okay fire hail famine and death all of these were created for vengeance now death incorporates the sword right who, who holds the sword you know a so-called human being right a so-called gun or a piece of pipe or whatever the hell it is all right point is they were created for vengeance all right so men you know, because when we go to the 30, at first it talks about the different, different, um, in fact, let me read it, Sirach 39 and 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, right? Who holds the sword? That's the point. Men, right? Punishing the wicked to destruction, right? So, so the point is, these spirits operate within these wild beasts, operate within the scorpions, within the serpents, and within men, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these, these entities that this guy is talking about here are really demons, demonic spirits, which would plague people in their mind, all right, to do, to do certain things, to kill, to steal, to destroy, all right, to rape, okay, to, to you, know, you know, to sift people out the truth and all, okay? This is what it is. Let me play some more of this. He calls energy parasites because they feed off of negative energy. And in practically every case, the victim has experienced severe trauma, usually, which explains why the voices tell people to traumatize others. These demons want more victims. According to the ancient- These demons are catching, you know, because when, when somebody performs an act of abuse or maybe sexual abuse, uh, the person, the perpetrator, is most like times demon possessed. So that same demon jumps in the same person who they're abusing right? and it begins to plague them and that's how it goes and, and just multiplies and multiplies okay and that person usually is worse off than you know before it just gets worse and worse more and more demons jump on him all right Gnostics who refer to these entities as archons they are destructive sadistic beings who control the earth via the thoughts of humans voices in the head this explains the rampant we are seeing today and the incestuous of royal bloodlines. These energy parasites need traumatized people to feed upon. Perhaps some of the thoughts in our own mind are not our own. Most schizophrenics claim that this is the case but are told by doctors that they are crazy. Doctors who only give them lobotomies, electroshock and drugs. And Marzinski has only seen schizophrenics recover once they start seeing these voices as an external entity. They then realize that they can actually resist them and the voices go away. Now we know about this because why our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai went through this. Alright, when, 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 um, when, the, when the, um, the angel Lucifer came to him, you know, the so-called Satan, alright, how did he tempt the Lord, you know, hey, in his mind, you know, in his mind, what the Lord rebuked him, but the Lord knew it was an external entity. Right? That's why we know when we get certain evil thoughts, 
all right you know you know it's hey, these demons you know sometimes putting these things in our head all right, and attack, attack us to make us go off all right and that's why we beat them with what scripture that's what the lord did okay that's what the lord did all right um let's bear with my moment here all right um see if we get a precept here All right, this is Matthew 4 and 1. It reads, Then, your, then was your how I led up of the Spirit. Right, the Spirit is you will lead him. The Spirit is what quickeneth into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was after what a hungry. And when the tempter came to him, which is who the devil, right, Lucifer, all right, he said, If thou be the Son of, of the Heavenly Father, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the heavenly Father. So you see, hey, the Lord responded, "What scripture?" So the devil, you know, tempted them these times. Same way we we tempted these right. So, but not greater than any master. His master, the scripture said, it is written. All right. So you can read out. You can read a little more. I you know I wouldn't go long more into it, but you know that's the point. The point is, we do battle against flesh and blood. Right against principle, but against principalities and powers. All right, Ephesians six. And um, verse ten it says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might." Yeah, we had to be strong in Him to resist these temptations. Put on the whole arm of the heavenly Father that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of who the devil. Right? Didn't you? Wish I stand? Yes. He stood. He stood on what? On the word of your Hashem, your Hashem, your Hashem is the word. All right, verse twelve says. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, which is uh, hierarchy of demons. All right, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and these, and this spiritual wickedness is just going to get worse and worse, with based on the witchcrafts and the enchantments that Esau Edom is doing with the Hadron Collider and all these things. It's going to get worse. All right, so we had to what? We had to prepare, you know, for more spiritual attacks. All right. Verse 13 says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Heavenly Father, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, which is this day now. Alright? And it's just gonna get more and more evil. Right? And having done all to, to all to stand. Okay? Stand. Alright? Because really and truly, you know, the main attack is in your mind. Right? We heard about what? The plague of the mind, right? That's one that's one of the worst plagues. Right, better the plague of the flesh and the plague of the mind. Um, let's get um, Sirach 25, verse 13. It says, Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, which is the mind. Okay, and this is the mind. Any plague, give him any plague, but the plague of the mind, which is his demonic plagues, the plague in your mind. It's like what they're talking about in this, um, in this video here. Let's play a little bit more of it. Resist them, and the voices go away. And so, while CERN is... Well, we have to resist them with the scriptures. Okay? A great mystery, and a concern. The demons from another dimension may already be here. In our thoughts. So it's a good thing we all have free will. And we know we do have free will. That's why prayer is important. Alright? We know in this truth. That you know, man's going to be Lord. If so, how can a man know his own way or flip our phrasing? So there's nothing such as free will. Alright? You know, hey, if you is either your vessel for honor or your vessel for dishonor, but the point is you had to pray. I pray that you know that if you come from wood, you pray that you would stand the hour of temptation. That way the scripture talk about what the hour of temptation. When you speak about what the main prof one of the main prophecies is that M O T T T B, the more mo T B. Alright? Which we get in Revelation, Revelation 3 and 10. How these temptations gonna go, it's gonna go in your, come in your mind to reduce what your faith, to make it give in, to make it take that that karagma. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Temptation who comes where in your mind, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. This is why all these demons being brought into this realm here now from the fourth dimension by, by Esau. Right, but it's the will of the Heavenly Father. Alright? Let's play some more. We all have free will. 
Well, that's what psychiatry says. That's, that's what the psychiatric mafia said. And uh, you know, twice I've been pulled up on the carpet for asking schizophrenics what their voices were telling. And when I got to the uh, uh, state hospital, I worked at Central State Hospital back in the 70s, which was the biggest psychiatric institution on the planet. And one of the first things I noticed was nobody was curious about what these voices were telling these, these people. But it was clear that whatever these voices were, they were driving their behavior. They were telling them to do crazy things. They were telling them to hurt people. They were telling them to... And, and, and the reason why nobody is really studying what they were saying is because Esau Edom knows, he knows about the spiritual realm. All right, but he operates on the left hand side sphere. And he doesn't want these people to be healed, you know, aid for these demons to be cast. So he wants confusion because he is a left hand side spirit, right? He is a demon, okay? hurt themselves um, and and nothing in school prepared me for this they in school they said oh yeah they're hallucinations that that's what you know and I was thinking okay if they're hallucinations they're like word salad you're not gonna be able to make anything out of them until I saw patients walking around you know arguing with them and carrying on conversations with them so th these were full length conversations they, they were you know they weren't piecemeal they weren't scattered all over the place. They, it was like listening to somebody talk to somebody else on the telephone where you can hear one half of the conversations. What, what I've found out. All right, so they were speaking to, to an entity. So when they're going to, um, let's see how we do. When they're going to schizophrenia, schizophrenic. Let's get that, let's get a meaning. Schizophrenic. Uh, person with schizophrenia. What is a schizophrenic person? Um, it says schizophrenia is a chronic brain disorder that affects less than 1% of when schizophrenia's active symptoms can include delusions, hallucinations, but mark that word delusions, okay? Hallucination, disorganized speech, trouble with thinking, lack of motivation. Um, really and truly, it goes back to. Let's see if I can get this. Alright, it goes back to people speaking to themselves too, alright? you know so-called split personalities okay but really it's not split personalities right it's what well, this is the demon speaking to them so when you hear the guy talking about having full cut loan conversations like somebody speaking on the phone they're communicating with their demon okay that's what it is what I, what i found out was that the voices weren't hallucinations you know th that they ran specific patterns and they, they ran these same patterns in all institutions uh, several of them emergency rooms uh, mental health centers uh, psych hospitals private psych hospitals so uh, and, and the, you know to get get to those um, just say I have a bunch of stuff here but I, I know you, you want to get to and on there I found out that they were consistently negative you know they they weren't random you know, they, they were always negative. They were always telling the person rotten things about themselves and everybody else. Um, they were telling them to, to hurt other people. They were telling them to do bad things. They were telling them to themselves. So this was a, a constant trait. They were consistently negative. They never said anything positive. And if they did, it was only to trip the guy up and get him to do something bad later. Uh, they would... Yeah, because they accuse us, the same spirit that Esau Edom comes in. He's the accuser of the brethren. Right? He's an adversary. Okay? Right? He's the devil and Satan. Okay? And that's the same thing, these, these angel, evil angels, they come in the same form, some, same way. Okay? Same spirit. Just like the, uh, uh, the, the angel that was up, he came a lion spirit and he mounted the prophet of, of um, Ahab, King Ahab. Okay. They would tell patients where drugs were. 
you know, so if they ran out of drugs, especially with meth, the voices would tell them, you be at this place at this time and somebody will come with the meth. All right, how do you know that? Because these familiar spirits have knowledge, all right, but left hand side knowledge, what to keep the person, what destroyed. And for Jake, you know, to keep Jake under the curses, okay? Because they work for the Heavenly Father, all right? And the Lord does the, does these things. Right, this is um. Fact. Let me get a precept here good for those who knew. All right, to this truth. All right. Um. You know the Lord does evil and He does good. Okay, this is Amos three and six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? The Lord is one who does good and who does evil. Okay. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? Yahweh the Heavenly Father. Yah means He. Yahweh means exist, is, or to be. And Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, our Savior. Yah means He. Yahweh Shai means deliverer, our Savior. Right? Um, Isaiah, so Isaiah 45, uh, and verse, verse, verse 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's why the Lord is supposed to fear Yahbashim Yahushai. The Lord is the one who sends these evil angels, right, to plague you. Right, Psalm 78 and verse 49, I know that plague is the one who is plague. Psalm 78 and 49, it says, He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Right, and these evil angels come in the form of people, animals and whatnot. Okay. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. And these are just all really the different things that come in famine, famine, pestilence, all right, plagues. Okay, all these things are you know evil angels. Angels are dead. Okay. You know, and this is how yeah uh, the two thirds, you know, being deceived, right? Because you saw one of the um the synonyms. For the word for, um, for schizophrenia goes into delusion okay the two-thirds they're going to be deceived into taking the m the more tb right the m to the o to the t to the b that c to the h to the i to the p right through the strong delusion of the lord on the left hand side which the lord already shut their eyes and closed the ears okay isaiah 66 and 4 it says what and i i also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I call none did answer when I speak they did not hear but they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not so the tutors continue sinning you know they don't repent from the sin and change their ways okay you know they still remain sinners all right we sin but hey at the end of the day we repent right and we we um we choose we, we pray to the Lord to do better every day okay that's the difference all right, but these two thirds, hey, they choose evil. So the Lord say, "What? Hey, I gonna choose their delusions. How the Lord bring in the delusion through these evil spirits, through these demonic forces, okay? But these demonic forces are part of the host, which is the armies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, this is Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse nine. Right, it says, um, fuck, um, yeah, let me see. I'm gonna read from verse eight. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed." Right, which is Esau Edom, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which is the Holy Spirit, just speaking through me right now. Right, because I couldn't, I can't do nothing, you know, but through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, we, we that that that's the engine room, right, for us doing these videos. We, you know, we just a vessel, all right, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, so Satan, you know, Satanic forces, the demonic forces are the ones who give Esau his power to make all these technology, all these things, you know, artificial intelligence, okay, robotics, okay, drones, okay, biological warfare, chemical warfare, right, they supply them with the information, the intel, right, they are the intelligence, okay, you know, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they love not the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, the Heavenly Father shall send them strong delusion that they might believe a lie. That strong delusion is going to the spirits that are going to blind them. Blind them from this truth. Blind them from seeing, seeing how you know, the devil that he saw is. Alright. 
you know, blind them to take what the, the MOTB, B, M O T B, M to you and the C C H the I T P. Okay? You know, and and, and that and hey but you know, blind them to believe the line wonders are the devil. Okay? Which which the lack is not gonna be fooled by this side, like Matthew twenty four and verse twenty four. Alright, let me look at verse twenty four. It says what? It says what um for there shall be false anointed, false Hamashiach and false prophets that shall show great wonders and signs, right? They're showing all these so called miracles, right? The um the the Mo T B alright the the, the the neural link, you know, can make people walk, right? They can heal different illnesses, you know, um Alzheimer's, all these sort of things, right? Okay? Right, so they shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But the elect not going to be deceived because we have another spirit. We have the Holy Spirit working with us. Alright, so it's all spiritual. Alright? Let's get First Peter 2. And verse 6, it says what? Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion, Zion, which is a monument, right? In Israel. Monument is cornerstone in Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, right? A chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him, which is Yahweh Shai, shall not be confounded, right? You're not going to be confounded. We go into that word, confounded. All right. Confounded. All right. Use your emphasis, express, express anger or annoyance, all right? Because what they're going to, they're going to be confused. Uh, see what they say here. Confused, perplexed, right? So you see, confused, damned. They're gonna be damned, right? But we, but Lord willing, we among that elect, we're not gonna, be not gonna be confounded. We're gonna be complex by what's happening, all right? Yeah, but these evil spirits, these demons, gonna gonna confuse and confound the two thirds of our people, all right? And the heathen, right? They're gonna be, they're gonna be confounded, you know? And these evil spirits, you know, hey. Uh, uh, in the, they are sifting mechanism for the Heavenly Father. This is how the Lord going to sift, command and sift the house of Israel. Because even um, the two thirds already out, right? two, the main ones that are not in this truth, but the ones who in this truth are going to, going to be sifted out. All right? You know, it's, the, these, it's these, um, these evil angels, right? These um, demonic forces, intelligence. They're going to come into their mind and lead them astray, right? Amos 9 and verse 9, it says what? Um, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Right? So the the, the um the sieve, these 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 um demonic forces are, are are like a sieve, right? Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Okay? Because the elect gonna be saved from this. Elect, you know, the Lord gonna put the Holy Spirit in our mind. So we will know gonna we're gonna see the, the lies. Right, we're gonna navigate the web. Like the spider that the elder apostle Gabba always talks about. We, got, we have the oil. Alright? All praises to Bashim Yawashai, Barakate Yawashim Yawashai. We have that oil to see, that oil to glide over the net, glide over the web of the web of the web, you know, so it wouldn't catch us. Alright, with the lies, with the, with the which web represents to these demonic forces as well. Okay? But the point is they're gonna have a turn up and it's gonna be a serious turn up. Okay, the same way you see the left hand side spirits turning up. Okay, you know, on the right hand side, we're gonna be it's gonna be turning up because the more knowledge and power we get in, in this truth as we grow, and you know, the more demons gonna be plaguing us. All right, that and that's the balance. Okay, that's the balance. So it's, it's important to be aware of this. All right, Mark chapter nine and it's, it's all praises to Abashim Yahushai, given this topic. Okay, and it's just an example too, of um, of of what you saw. You know about you know the man talking about these people with, with these different spirits. This is uh, Mark nine and seventeen. And one of the multitude answered and said, "Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which have a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth and gnasheth his teeth, and pineth away, and spake to thy to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. Right? And he answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? And long, how long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him straight away, the spirit tear him and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming because he recognized the Awashai. He recognized as the Lord. And he asked his father, How long is it, is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child, right? So these demons have been on since he was a child. 
And of time it had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him, right? So you see, they seek to destroy his life. Same way the, um, the guy was talking about demons telling, the, telling them where to go and get the drugs, to smoke, to, to take it. Alright? But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Yahweh said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Right? Believe through what? And you believe through what? Faith. Faith is a gift. And this is why it's important to pray for faith, you know, brothers and sisters, pray for faith. All right, and um, verse 24, say, And straightway the father of the child cried out and said of tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Right, so he prayed for faith. He prayed for faith to believe. To believe on Yahweh Shai that he could heal him. All right, when Yahweh Shai saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter more and mentor no more into him, right? So these spirits, hey, Barak Teyah Bashim Yahushai, let me finish read this verse 26. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch as that many said he is dead. But Yahushai took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. So, so you know, hey, and afterwards Yahushai rebuked the apostles because, you know, the disciples could say, you know, he said, you know, hey, you don't have the faith, you know. So this one we come out by prayer and fasting. Alright? So these things are, 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 are demonic forces. They, these spirits here are demonic forces. And, and you know, the left hand side turning up. You know, so the right hand side has a turn up too. Alright? You know, there are many, you know, you know the, the, pretty soon the Lord is going to give us spiritual power. Alright? They're going to be have miracles coming. Okay? They're going to have miracles coming. We're gonna cast out demons, we're gonna raise the dead, we're gonna heal the sick, we're gonna walk on water. The Lord said, Greater things than, than these you shall do. Right? Because you believe in me. You know? But also it's important to understand that you're gonna have increasing spiritual attacks. Right? Because with knowledge and power, right, come, 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 come the, the fire and the temptation too. It's a balance. Okay, it's a balance. The Lord operates in perfect balance. Okay? Same way that um, it's John the Baptist, you know, he said, he said, um, you know, he said this, he said, um, Matthew 3 and 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me, which is who? Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord, right? He that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So the Holy Spirit is what we have to teach his truth. And the Holy Spirit is going to be increasing in us daily, you know, you know, you know to, to the point where you know, even when um, when the work is, the preaching work is done, you know, the Lord is going to start to give us, He's going to be giving us the spiritual power. All right? And, and, but along with that comes the fire, which is the temptation. Right? A lot of that is the plague of the mind. Okay? Plague of the mind to make you go off. It is demonic forces. They require, they, they, they want to make you, make you sift you out. They want to destroy us. They seek to destroy us. The Lord said himself told, um, told Peter um, that the devil seek it to save you. You know? And if that's Peter, who is King David in his spirit, you know, that's, that just show, um, you know, a, you know, that a, this thing is real. The spiritual attacks are real. Luke, 22 and 31. Right, it says, um, Luke 22 and 21, and the Lord said, which is Yahweh Shai, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to sift you, that he may sift, that desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, right? So Satan wanted, wanted Simon Peter. Right, Satan is a spiritual angel. Right, he's a spirit, he's a demon, a so called demon. He's the head of the left hand side. Verse 32, but you but you this Yahweh Shai speaking again. He says, But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. So this is what he this is the target of these demons to destroy our faith in Yahweh Shai to make us go out and doubt ourselves. That's why the guy was talking about you know it's only negative things he's per saying. Alright. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So when you when you overcome these these demons in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Should you have our power, the Holy Spirit, strengthen your brethren. This is what we call to do. To pray for that way the scripture says, pray you one for another. Okay, pray you one for another. So let's listen to a little more of this video. And let's close it out after.
voices would tell them, you'd be at this place at this time and somebody will come with the meth. And that happened. I heard that from over and over again from several different people. They were anti-religious was one of the first things I saw at, this, at the state hospital is that when the patients started reading the Bible or going to church, the voices acted up. They that's, went nuts. That's what really triggered, that's what my occurrences started to amplify when I started to read kind of the Bible on my own for the first time. But I'll get more into that later on in the show. Yeah, yeah. chime in anywhere along the, the along in here. So that was that was strange. What kind of hallucination would be any religious? What kind of hallucination would act up every time the guy walked into a church or every time he tried to read the Bible? You know, that's odd. And with the negativity, what holds them on such a negative pattern? I mean, they're not random. They're held onto this pattern. Right, because they've been ordered. They've been given um an order on these spirits. They don't transgress the will of Yahbashim Yahushai. Alright? These evil spirits, these these um in, evil angels, right? They do exactly what the Lord tells them to do, which is to keep them in that destroyed state. You know, the person who they're possessing, right? Who they who they um who they um plaguing. Psalm 103 and verse 20 it says, Bless the Lord ye his angels that excel in strength and that do his commandments. So that's why they are patterned, they're doing exactly what they've been told. Hearken into the voice of his word. Bless ye Yahweh, all his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Right? So as you said, the demons are part of the host of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But for us in this truth, our main weapon against these, these demons, you know, is putting on the, the, the arm of the Lord, Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6 and 12. Okay? Um, Ephesians 6. Verse 12, it says what? Let me go down a little bit because I read this before. Um, verse 13, Wherefore take unto the whole arm of the Heavenly Father, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins good about with truth, this truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and, have, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right, spreading the gospel of peace. This gospel. Above all, taking the shield of faith. And this is what these, these demons try to do. Break down your faith, break down your shield. So they have full access to your mind. Alright, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is this word. Alright, and you see how I I used it against the, the Satan. Alright, which is the word of God. Praying always, and I'll say it over again. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Which means what? Pray, praying to, for, for your brother. Okay, pray and pray, brother. And then the scriptures say, you know, hey, weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty. Second Corinthians 10, verse 4 says, For the weapons, my first verse 3 it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, yeah, but in spirit is a spiritual battle. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the heavenly Father to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, right? Imaginations come away in your mind. Okay, these demon, demonic force plague in your mind and everything, high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, right? These high things, these principalities and powers. And bringing into captivity every thought. You listen carefully, any, every thought. Right? They, they, they put thoughts in your mind to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Alright? To the obedience of Yahweh Shai. And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Alright, so when you get perfect and you perfect, you, you pray for, do for the brothers and you know, rebuke a brother, that's love. Okay? So, hey, you know, this thing is serious. It's first, back, let me, let me get that. First Thessalonians 5, verse 17, it says, um, Pray without ceasing in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh, of Yahweh, of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shia Mashiach concerning you. Alright, so this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to pray. Okay, Philippians again 4 and verse 6. It says what? Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be known unto the Heavenly Father. So this is how we're supposed to be praying. The scripture says pray without ceasing. Pray and supplication unto the brothers. Pray to endure unto the end. Pray that your faith is you know, going to be increased and it wouldn't fail. Right? Pray to withstand the temptation of the, of the Moti B. The M to the O T T to the B, that C to the H to the I to the P, that coming soon. Alright? You know, withstand the wiles of the devil, right? You know, 
you know in your mind that's where it all starts all right so you know in our previous lesson was edifying we give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect till the next time destruction unto babylon habad babal and shalom